going on guys? Jeff back with another review. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the G.I. Joe Collector Club Adventure figure. Um, this is the next in line of the basic figure assortment that the club <clears throat> excuse me, did reproductions of. It's a pretty good figure. Uh, I like it. Um, it has a couple little issues with it that I want to kind of address when we take it back to the shop. But all in all, it's a good figure to have in my collection and I can't wait to do the review. So uh, we'll head back to the shop and we'll bust him out of the box. Okay guys, we're back. So this is the G.I. Joe Collector Club Adventure reproduction figure. Um, figures commemorating 35 years of anniversary. Um, I misspoke in the video for the uh, African American Talking Commander. I said in there it was 30 years of anniversary and it was actually 35 years of anniversary. So I apologize for this mistake. Uh, this figure obviously comes with a great box, like all the other figures in the uh, in the set. Um, again, previous collector club sets on the side. We'll bust him out, put him off to the side. Uh, we got the boot removal instructions with this figure. Um, we have the pamphlet commemorating this time 35 years of anniversary, 1970 to 2005. And we have probably the coolest part about this figure. He comes with a really nice pin of the Adventure Team vehicle and its famous wench. Set the box up for everybody. Get this guy going. So, like I mentioned, he comes with the metal dog tag, which is standard on all these reproduction figures. This time, 35 years. Uh, the BDUs on the figure are very nice it's a nice reproduction of the light khaki color uh, reproduction boots uh, shoulder holster with the uh, standard classic adventure team revolver the figures flocking is pretty nice um, i can't complain too much about it it has no thin spots and it uh, doesn't have the the uh, the bad flock which i've stated on some of the previous figures i'm a little salty about that but uh, it's neither here nor there um, it's a great reproduction figure. I believe it's the first reproduction of, of this actual figure, the African American version uh, figure of the adventure or the member of the adventure team. Um, I know Walmart uh, did the Kung Fu grip version of this, which is slightly different than him. I believe the fatigues are a little different. Uh, of course, it has Kung Fu grip hands and a little bit different head. Uh, this is one of the better figures. This is one of my more favorite figures of the reproduction line. Um, the only thing that I notice about him is he is, has his, his uh, left leg is longer slightly than his right leg. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, unique to my figure or if this was a production flaw with all the figures, but he has a wonky leg. So um, if you try to stand him up straight, he leans a little bit. So... Uh, that was what I noticed when I first got him out of the package back in the day, uh, 2005, I believe. Um, I might have said that already. Yeah, 05. And uh, that's the only thing I noticed about him. And, of course, I'm not sure why that is. But uh, that's the only flaw in this figure. Um, he's a very true to the original adventurer, as he was called in the Adventure Team line. Um this is a cool figure to have in my collection. I've not seen many of these um, online. I'm sure there's a ton of people that have them, obviously. There was a lot of members of the G.I. Joe Collector Club. But this was a figure that you could actually buy complete with box and a figure. Uh, I know later issued figures came as a membership figure in some cases. And then you would actually buy the, uh, the gear and box separate. This is not the case. Um, like I said, he was around 50 bucks, I think, looking back at my old club newsletters in the back where they used to sell these. Uh, it's a great figure to have, and I'm pretty lucky to have him in my collection. Um, this is not really a long review. I really don't have a lot to say about this guy because he's pretty basic and pretty standard, and there's not much wrong with him other than the leg being longer on one side or the other. And again, I don't know. Maybe I just got unlucky when I bought this guy. Um, I do notice that there were, in a lot of my uh, G.I. Joe Club figures, there were some production flaws in some of them. And I will, I'll, I'll talk about these in later figures that I have, um, namely uh, the uh, Super Joe figure. I actually sent that back to the club three different times, thinking that each figure 
that had a problem with the elbow joint and uh, they sent me back a figure every time that had the same problem with the elbow joint. I actually thought they were screwing with me at one point, but uh, turns out that was a production flaw in those figures. So um, not sure about this one, but that's all I can say about it. It's a great figure. Um, uh, definitely check these out if you're wanting to try to complete your collector club uh, figure set. And there's people that are willing to get rid of their um, figures. This is one for your set I would uh, or collection I would definitely recommend. So uh, that's about all I can say about him. So this is the uh, G.I. Joe Adventure figure, the African-American member of the team commemorating 35 years of adventure by the G.I. Joe Collector Club. Uh, like and subscribe to the page. Share these. Dislike the video if you don't like it. I don't really care. I just like uh, interacting with you guys. Um, look forward to comments and correspondence from you. Uh, you can follow me at uh, skunkworks underscore 74 on Instagram. I also have another one called Toys, Brews, and Booze. And then my regular Instagram, jshare74. Hit me up on Facebook. Uh, send me a message on Messenger. Or uh, shoot me an email, which will be at the end of this video. So, um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Hope you're doing great, and uh, cheers.